from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for November 10th, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, for today's trade analysis. Now, it's important for me to recognize the fact that today is a bank holiday in the US, so we may see limited market movement as we go into the weekend here on this Friday. But definitely, we'll watch for some opportunities as we go throughout the day. We do have a, some U.S. data at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, but uh, again, not expecting a whole lot of movement today uh, because of the bank holiday. Starting here on the USDCAD daily time frame, there are several things converging together that we want to make note of because when several indicators converge together, it makes somewhat of a, a brick wall in the market. And so we want to find them and potentially look for an opportunity to trade the dollar CAD. First off is the trend line, the blue trend line coming up from the bottom. We could see that overall for the past several weeks, going back to the beginning of December, or sorry, not December, September, we have been in an uptrend along the blue trend line. Sure, over the past week and a half or so, we've seen a bearish move for the dollar CAD, but the overall picture has been overwhelmingly bullish since early September. Not only that, and I'm going to begin to zoom it in here a little bit, not only that, we see the 100 period simple moving average. That's the green line coming into the chart. The 100 period simple moving average sits just at the bottom of that pink shaded area, 1.2600. So we have the trend line just above the pink zone, the moving average just under the pink zone. The pink zone, follow it back in time to the, where the blue circle is, and you see resistance there. So resistance often helps us identify future support. That's why the pink shaded area is there between 126 and 126.35. We also, well, while we're mentioning that, we have 12600, that 2600, the double zero level, offering a psychological boundary for the market. And lastly, we have Fibonacci, looking from the bottom of the chart, the lowest low, to our current highest high, the recent high that we've made, Fibonacci low to high, puts the 0 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level at 1.2590, just at the bottom of our pink shaded area. So we have the trend line, the moving average, historical resistance acting as support, uh, Fibonacci, all of this lining up right here at the pink shaded area and of course the 12600 level so it's likely that we'll find some support here into the pink shaded area so if we're going to find if we're potentially going to find some support here it gives us an opportunity to look for an uh, a trade scenario into that pink shade area we're looking for support we're looking for reversal to go back up in the direction of the trend and the other part about this scenario is it tells us what our risk is. The risk is that it breaks through that barrier. So you think of that pink zone where all these indicators are converging together, somewhat like a, a brick wall. If it breaks through the brick wall, we expect it to accelerate lower. If it doesn't break through the brick wall, it bounces off of it and goes back up. So as it dips its toes down into the waters, as it dip, dips it down into the pink shaded area, moving average, trend line, Fibonacci, support resistance, we can look for price action that indicates reversal, an infusion of buy orders. That could look like a couple of things. It could look like a hammer candlestick with a small body long wick on the bottom showing an infusion of buy orders. It could look like uh, a bullish engulfing candle where we see uh, a bearish candle, then a, a fuller uh, bullish candle after that. All of those things are, th uh, are indicators that price action indicators we can look for here into this pink shaded area. And the only risk we have is that it breaks down through that pink zone. Now, if it does break down through it, of course, we have other areas of support down here. The green shaded area, you can see some congestion around that, even all the way down here to the orange shaded area where we see 12400. And by the way, 618 Fib sits down there as well. And you can see support here, quite a bit of support there. You can see the congestion here uh, looking back in this area right in the middle of the trend. So a significant area here, four hour time frame, not really going to change the perspective here, but it will show us that we have uh, at least recently pushed underneath the yellow zone, unfortunately pushing underneath the yellow zone. We were looking for support here as well, but I think uh, everything's lining up pretty well here into the pink shaded area for a potential support 
It may not be today. It could likely be uh, going into early next week. Potential support and the potential for this to uh, turn back higher in the direction of trend for the dollar cat over the next several days. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.